Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. What's everybody planning today? There was a tornado warning. And some, it was raining and it's still raining out. I woke up and it's all damp and gray and, but it's whatever we make of it, right? You know, and today is another day to begin again. You know, I was thinking about fear. You know, a lot of us have many things in the past that have scared us or we've stopped doing things or we maybe hesitate about something and we might want to do it, but we're just like afraid of doing it because we're not sure and there's all these what ifs, right? So, but you know, like years ago, I, when I was a kid, I was thrown in the water and so I never got back into the water or pool until, well, unless my, maybe dip my toes in it, but you know, like I never ever attempted to uh, go in above my waist. And then in my 40s, I finally decided I needed to learn. And my kids, I ended up putting my kids into swimming lessons because I wanted to make sure that they learned. But I, in my 40s, ended up going to a local community center and learning how to swim. And now I can go to the end of the pool. I can float on my back. I can... I'm not an avid swimmer, I'm not that strong of a swimmer, but I'm not afraid of um, drowning. I still do sometimes get a little bit, um, you know, I could feel anxious when I don't feel the bottom, <laughs> but I just know that I can float, I can go on my back, and I'm fine, and it's, but, you know, we all have something that we're afraid of, and that we've um, just taken our time to do, or we don't do because of fear. You know, and um, sometimes it's uh, we have a fear of using our voice. We have a fear of uh, maybe thinking for ourselves, or a fear of um, what will happen if I do. Well, what will other people think? And you judge yourself, and harder than what other people do. But you know, it's like we in our life have seen other people go through things, and they either what happens either they fail or they become stronger and same with us and things that we've done and so we think we're not smart enough or that we can't do it or we're afraid of you know we hear the, all these horror stories of something happening of somebody getting hurt or in our relationships and we're just not sure so we just a lot of times we just let go of our dreams and you know we like this tornado storm we need to prepare for things and we need to think about what might happen. You know, I'm inside here. I'm not worried. I didn't go anywhere last night planning on going out today. And, but I, you know, we need to just prepare for what might be, but you don't let that scare you. Don't let it stop you from being who you want to be or what you want to do. You know, the tornado passes, they, um, and there's nothing. Maybe we have the gray skies or lightning and thunder, but everything is fine. And we need to follow our hearts, and we need to dream bigger, and we need to <clears throat> follow, follow our hearts. You know, this is your journey, my journey, and wherever we want to go, this is our season of life. We get to do what we want to do. And we need to feel that we can be free and be ourselves and use our voice and just... You know, we don't need to be always scared. I was just thinking, you know, like many times I've thought, oh, I would love to be able to talk in a group. I want to do a podcast. I want to be able to do more writing, my work on my blog. And uh, there's a lot of things that have stopped me, you know, and I'm working and I need to take more time for myself. I need to do things for myself. And I love doing my job and I want to do more. And if life keeps going on, we don't know where it's going to take us. But we need to have these little hobbies. And a lot of people make a job out of their hobbies. And it's just like, <clears throat> we don't know. Fear stops us and we're much stronger than we believe, right? There's that saying, you're stronger than you believe. And you are, you're stronger, you're amazing. You can do much more than you think you're capable of. You have the ability, you're smart, you're, you're amazing, you know, and this is what I would tell my children, my grandchildren, and I need to tell myself more often, and you need to tell yourself, so just affirm, I am strong, I am safe, I am smart, you know, the universe is looking after me, I am cradled, 
I'm cradled in the arms of the universe and I receive the love and the abundance and just believe in yourself, trust yourself. I believe in myself and trust myself. You know, you are loved and the universe has so much more for you. You have so much more out there that's waiting to be given to you and you just need to receive and believe and trust yourself and have a wonderful, wonderful life. You know, do some soul work and trust yourself and search yourself. Where did you get the ideas you got? Was it the fear of your family, your parents, your your religion? Where did you get that original fear or thought that you couldn't do something or that you were it was wrong for you to do it or that something would, was very wrong in your mind, but you maybe as a child, you knew it wasn't right. You knew that you could do it. You knew that you wanted to do it, but you stopped that dream. You just didn't follow your journey or your your heart because of fear, and we've let fear Fear is just horrible, right? We don't walk out of the door. A lot of people are afraid of attempting anything, right? Trying to, what? Well, I can't ride a bike. I never had a bike. I'm the oldest of eight kids. I never had a bike. Some of my other siblings, they used their friends, but I didn't have a friend close by that had a bike, and I just never attempted. And now that I'm older, I just have never learned to ride a bike. I need a three-wheeler. <laughs> I need to get one of those spiders. I think we'll get one of those, rent one if we can someday. I think that would be fun, right? I've been on a motorcycle, and I actually have been on a bike, but it's just I haven't for years and years, and I don't know my balance. I, uh, I should get out there more often and try to do that, but yeah. So we have to just take some time today. Take some time and just think about your thoughts and what it is that is stopping you from doing what it is that you want to do. Because fear is a horrible monster in our brain. And it's a, one of those horrible, it plays tricks on us. And, you know, maybe something we've seen that scares us. And we think, oh, that could happen, right? I'm not, you know, and for ourselves, maybe because we've had children or whatever, we don't want to, you know, show our fear. And we've kept it tucked away in there. But every once in a while, it comes out and something is just like, you know, like, I can't do that. I'm not strong enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not whatever. So just take some time today. Follow your heart. Just let the energy flow through you and the love of the universe and God. And remember, our angels are around us. We are safe. Feel loved and cared for. Take care of you. Have a wonderful day. Believe in you. Trust you. Take care of you.